You know what does not need any fixing whatsoever? What's that? The Peacemaker introduction. That musical oh, number. Oh my god! And this Do is all we're going to talk it? about. It. Yeah, uh, you haven't. You're not up to date on everything, but everybody's like, seen that intro I'm through the first episode. Well, that's <clears throat> you. You only need to get through the first what minute and a half, two minutes for yeah. the opening uh, <laughs> dance number, which is like what the hell? Everybody yeah. doing it with a deadpan, serious face on. Uh, you know, I believe that the guy in the vigilante suit is doing the thing. Like, everybody is actually doing it. Like, it's not, you know, yeah. choreographers who are jumping in or whatever. And John Cena, you know, the motions, the intro of all the people, that thing is like, I've watched all three episodes, and just like uh, James Gunn wanted, I have not hit the skip intro button for any oh, of them. Oh, no. So. The, what I like about John Cena in that role is that there's not, um, it's not, I don't see John Cena. I'm sorry. Let me go back. Um, a lot of times when you see wrestlers go to acting, it's the wrestler as this character. Yeah. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin did a couple movies. Bill Goldberg did a couple of movies. You know. Yeah. When I watch when I watch Santa Slay, which I don't recommend to anybody. Don't even it's, know what that is. Exactly. It's Bill Goldberg as Santa Claus. Okay, you know, no. it's when you watch Universal Soldier <laughs> shit four, um, it's Bill Goldberg in oh, as a character. Right. Yeah. It's wow. Bill Goldberg as the character. So yeah. now I'm I'm watching this and I don't see John Cena. I see Chris Smith. I see the peacemaker. You know? Yeah. The guy who's willing to kill whoever he has to to make sure peace gets its way. Yeah. And it's it's so good. Uh, I you forget how good of an actor he is, which Even, is crazy. Because think about where he started, the Marine, mm, and mm-hmm. I mentioned to Steve. The movie's terrible. Yeah, the movie's terrible, and I met, I forgot, and I'm so sorry, I forget his name. This is a reunion of the Marine cast because you have John Cena and the actor mm. who played the T1000 in T2 coming yeah. back because he was the bad guy in the Marine. For those of mm. you who haven't seen the uh, masterpiece that is the Marine, uh. So, yeah, so you got to get caught up on the other two episodes, probably three episodes by the time, because I think it releases on Wednesday, too. I don't know for sure. Steve, please correct me up top if I'm wrong, because I probably am. So they only released, they released the first three last week, and then they're going to do one episode every week from here on out? That's my understanding. That's what they did with the, the latest episode of the uh, train wreck known as Titans. And, mm-hmm. uh... Look on a mask with my boy. Hopefully, so I will just say, I'm not going to spoil anything. Three episodes in, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's crazy, it's funny, it's got action. Uh, I'm curious to see where the hell this character is going to go next. It's not just like, he's not just playing that same, I mean he is, but you know, his character is evolving, not in such a beat you over the head method uh, as in other characters that we've seen. But his character's changing and I'm interested to see is he actually going to change or is he going to just revert back to what he was? Um, something something yeah. that I like that the show is doing so far is uh, we've mentioned it before on the channel. I'm, I have Marvel fatigue. I, yeah. I think I've about had enough. And it's a shame because that's my favorite line of properties. And there's the, the Disney Marvel formula where if you look back at the other... Marvel movies prior to Disney, it's not really there. Um, Iron Man doesn't have it. Uh, the Incredible Hulk doesn't have it. I think Captain America First Avenger didn't really have it either because I'm pretty sure that wasn't Disney yet. And then you notice that they once they figure the formula out, probably after Avengers, then it takes off and it kind of runs through almost every movie. And... They're trying to be silly to appeal to kids and to adults. And it's almost, they, I think it almost comes across as tone deaf because it breaks up the, it breaks up the action, it breaks up the energy and the mood mm-hmm. for me. But then you watch Peacemaker and much like Suicide Squad, it, I mean, it's directed by the same guy. Mm-hmm. Um, it never takes itself too seriously from the beginning. And I think that's what makes it funnier and that's what makes it more enjoyable because it doesn't, it never tries to really ground itself. It's like, even his costume looks kind of, it, it looks like someone 
patch it together. Someone gets this crazy idea. I'm going to be the peacemaker. I got to save the world well, one bullet at a time, you know, in the name of peace. Yeah. And he patches his own suit together. You know, it, it's it, it's a it's a completely different approach, and it works because it doesn't take itself seriously. Yeah, exactly. They're experimenting partly because they have to, uh, yeah. but it's working because be, they're in a corner, and it's working. What they're doing from that from that point of view is working for them. Yeah, from a certain yeah. point of view. Exactly. Um, uh, real quick, Shazam did, Shazam worked that way too because Shazam, he's still supposed to be Billy Batson. I know in the comics he's like eight. I think in the movie he's like a, like a young teenager, maybe like 12 or 13. Yeah. And him being silly like that works because he's supposed to be a little kid. So lore-wise, everything fits. It's... That that might have been the be the beginning of what we're veering into when they finally decided to switch gears away from the dark gritty stuff and kind of like into Shazam, and this might be, with the exception of the Batman, this might be where DC kind of turns it around and starts swiping it that starts swiping that crowd out from under Marvel. Right. Not that I want the Batman to be lighthearted. It's just there's an audience, you know, there's an audience for both, and maybe they shouldn't mix together. <laughs>